Welcome to EA UFC. Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. What you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 144 pounds. Fighting out of Shanghai, China, Pantera. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fighting. Start of round one, I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is gonna be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Whoa! Good defense 
to block the strike coming back. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is the technique you use to really slow down your opponent. This is his game. He likes to control his opponent's posture with that collar tie and land those nice elbows around the guard. Oh, that's a good right hand. And that one was heavy. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Just over three minutes to go now. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for me now. You got to check these low leg kicks. Oh, is that a big knee to the body? We'll see if he can follow up. Size with these beautiful leg kicks. Lee gets touched by that kick there. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Switching stances here. Lee going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Liver kicks. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Landed the right hand there. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Another punch to the head. Got clipped with the right hand. Nice body right on the elbow. Just out of range with that right hook. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Great punch. He continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Just missing on the high kick there. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so clean. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. And that left hook landed on the button. Lee gets caught by that straight punch there. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. And he switches his stance yet again. So there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. Second round here. That leg kick's coming. Nice punch, man. Beautiful right punch, follows it up with the left. 
just out of range with that left hook. certainly making good use of what is an obvious edge in reach. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it. Able to check that kick as well. Big clutch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the... Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Oh! Nice leg kick lands. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Oh, a huge block there. Yeah. Oh, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Nice punch lands over the top. And both guys really throwing with authority. And big he comes knee. through with a big knee. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Whoa! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. He's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice kick. Oh, man, that cut is getting worse. Absolutely nasty. Still nice body kick. Kick is blocked. Oh, massive kick to the body. Oh! Oh! Massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Cable inches right there. That is a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up with I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talk to your toughness. He blocks the punch. in the books. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. 
Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. Ready? Ready? Third round underway. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. in some body shots. How good is that right hand? Just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana calls a stop to this contest at 56 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.